She wasn't the only one. Virtually overnight, Pepper went from YouTube superstar to YouTube. Hey Kim, Sam Pepper, we hate you. I know. I'm sorry. All this stuff is fake. Like, we believe it all, but it's really fake, and all it was about was the end goal. This wasn't anti woman's right or anything like that. I was just hoping to show you guys something that I feel needs to be addressed. Hey guys, I'm in Beverly Hills and I'm looking for a bit more of an older woman, a more sophisticated and mature model. People have watched the equivalent to 25 years worth of Sam Pepper YouTube videos. That's a lot of three minute pranks. What are you doing? What's this guy doing? No, no, it's a joke, it's a, it's a prank. Hey, it's your Uncle Herman here, and I'm still an alpha male, and this week, Sam Pepper is back. That's right, Sam Pepper, the prankster turned disgraced YouTuber, pioneer of the it was just a social experiment excuse, now has a huge following on TikTok, and is appealing to a whole new audience who might have never known of the numerous allegations against him, or the prank videos that he used to post back in the day. So today, join me as I dive into the history of Sam Pepper's public image, and how he's managed to somehow make a comeback on none other than TikTok. But before we get to that, this video has very kindly been sponsored by Stereo. Stereo is a new live streaming app where people can talk freely together and talk to listeners using voice notes. Stereo allows users to listen in, seek out topics and join conversations about issues and ideas that interest them. And there are always loads of live streams going on about various topics and you can flick through and decide what interests you. You can download it for free on the App Store or on Google Play and myself and fellow YouTuber Oddish Otter have been doing a couple of live shows already on this app which has been super chill and fun and you should absolutely go and check out Oddish Otter's channel as well see in my head i swore see when i watched that patty video i was like 100 percent like i do not believe a word this woman is saying i do not believe a yeah. word of it i was like i am going to wait for shane dawson to make his video and then we'll go from there and then literally <laughs> i went on twitter yeah. and the first thing came up was that video of him and like she's a liar she's manipulative and i went oh shane you really stepped in at me at like mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely i mean that the summer of 2020 really was like a game changer for so many people it was so weird we've been mostly reminiscing about the old days of youtube and we actually have another live show coming up this friday at 8 p.m i've genuinely had a lot of fun using the app and i hope that you will too so to join us on friday all you need to do is click the link in the description to download the stereo app and we'll see you there thanks again so much to stereo for supporting creators and for sponsoring this video so sam pepper a name that a lot of us haven't heard in years initially rising to fame in 2010 when he was a controversial contestant on the reality tv show big brother he started to make prank videos on YouTube and they immediately took off. Between around 2012 and 2014 he was one of the biggest names in the YouTube game and even I was innocently watching him back then when prank YouTubers and public nuisances were the height of internet entertainment. But as masterfully pointed out by James Acaster in 2014, Sam Pepper's pranks were a little bit messed up as he was often seen trying to pressure women into doing things by coming onto them for his channel. I'm just gonna say that that's that the most messed up thing I've ever seen. Oh, sorry, mate. I know you're here. That's the most type of thing I've ever seen. My <laughs> <laughs> you getting with guys as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be as funny if you were forcing yourself on blokes you don't know. <laughs> that wouldn't have been as amusing. I actually have. If you got a bloke in a headlock on the beach and we're actually... like, we make out with you right now. I actually... gone, no, you <laughs> not. <laughs> have I'll another your video. Ass. In 2014, Sam Pepper was largely shunned by the internet after uploading a video titled Fake Hand Out pinch prank in which he goes up to girls on the street and gropes them with a fake hand. Many people watched this video and deemed it sexual harassment and many people started to speak out against him following this video. He was banned from VidCon with Hank Green tweeting, it's safe to assume that people who sexually assault women in prank videos will not be welcome at future VidCons. Sam Pepper removed the video but said that it was supposedly staged and scripted and a social experiment. It was part of a supposed planned and scripted trilogy. You see, after the initial video, he then released a video with women doing the same thing to men and then a final video stating that it was all an experiment to raise awareness for the sexual assault of men women are 
insulted every day in millions of seemingly small ways which other people don't see as bad. And yet they affect the woman on the end of them. It's nice to see how society is finally catching up on how this can affect women and that feeling of safety around these type of men. If you'd like more information about this subject, click the link in the description bar below. Now to why I posted this video in the first place. As a lot of you might know if you've been following me for long enough, I don't just post pranks. I post videos that change your opinions on something, how you think about something, and I draw attention to smaller situations that might not normally be seen. Many of us, me included, can get stuck in repetitive thought patterns and assume that our view of the world is right and fair. And that's not always the case. But not many people bought this story, and it didn't just stop there. After his video started receiving criticism, many women started to come forwards accusing Sam Pepper of very serious misconduct, with one 19-year-old filing a police report against him at the time. A few of the victims came forwards and made videos about their encounters with Sam Pepper. These videos have now mostly been removed, so I won't be revealing their identities, but one anonymous alleged victim told BuzzFeed News that she was attacked during the vlogger's visit to Toronto where he was performing on tour. The pair made contact over Twitter and exchange details, after which he is said to have invited her over to his hotel room. The woman claimed that she, her sister and her friend then went to see if they could get free tickets from Pepper at the concert venue to attend the event, but he refused her sister and friend and would only allow her into the venue. After the concert, she alleged that under the pretense he was taking her home, he took her back to his hotel where he attacked her. She said, I kept saying no and he laughed and pinned me down. At first I thought he was joking around but then I realised he was having s with me, explaining why she hadn't come forward before. The woman said, I thought it was my fault. Fault. Sam's legal team released a statement at the time saying that Sam Pepper denies any and all accusations that have been made against him and there are no outstanding claims against him to date. Despite an open letter with over 100,000 signatures asking Sam Pepper to be removed from the platform, although he did take a large hit, after a few months he was back to posting his prank videos. Now these allegations cannot be verified and a lot of them are way in the past now. He was questioned by the police but charges were never filed against him at the time due to the victim being unwilling to testify. But looking back on on the videos he was posting, it is really disturbing to watch, and to think his new TikTok audience of nearly 4 million followers will likely be a completely different demographic who perhaps don't remember or know about the videos that he used to make. It's scary to me sometimes how easy it is for personalities like this to just bounce back as if nothing happened. But Sam Pepper's 2014 controversy was just the beginning of many more scandals that he would be involved in on YouTube. A year after the fake hand prank, Sam uploaded a video titled Killing Best Friend Prank, in which he pretends to kidnap a Vine star's best friend. It's an incredibly emotionally disturbing video to watch and was apparently staged, but the distress in the friend's eyes suggest maybe otherwise, or maybe he was just an incredible actor. Either way, I feel like whether it was real or not, it was still uploaded for millions of young people to watch, and I remember watching it at the time and being incredibly scared and disturbed. It was a really dark turn for Sam Pepper, and people started campaigning once more to have him removed from YouTube. This time, however, Sam agreed that he would delete his channel, on one condition. He set up a GoFundMe and said that he would only delete his channel if he was given $1.5 million on this GoFundMe. Rewards on the page included a retweet of your hate tweet to over 1 million followers for $250, the opportunity to kick him in the nuts for $7,500, and even the chance to be the one to push the delete button for $25,000. The GoFundMe page was eventually removed and thankfully did not reach its goal, and it was after this that Sam Pepper tried his hand at a redemption arc. I spoke with Sam and Kobe about doing the video and I said, I want to do something, you know, I want to do something big, if we're going to do a video together, I have this idea. I, I want to do this, like I know it's crazy and, and I mean potentially a few people are gonna be a bit mad about it but I think it'll go really viral, it'll get a lot of views and again like I push towards the side like oh people are gonna be mad at this, like you can't kidnap your friend, you can't kill your friend, like I push that all to one side and instead of thinking then okay if people aren't gonna like it why would I want to put that out there, if people are gonna be even the smallest bit mad at me, why would I want people thinking that of me? That's not who I am. So, again, I put the video up and I got a huge backlash. Again, because I'm putting forward the wrong image of myself. I'm putting forward like a character that I've created that who doesn't give a fuck, who will just make crazy videos, who will kidnap his friend, who will grab... Get Sorry, my battery died. Um, as I was saying, uh, I, I put the video and I put across an image of myself that 
I didn't want people to see. In February of 2016, Sam Pepper paused his Carefree Social Experiment Act to try and show us a different side of him through an apology video. He made all of his videos private and deleted his tweets. He apologised to his fans and in turn made some promises to stop making prank videos. He also denied all of the allegations against him and claimed that his pranks had all been staged. And he actually did stop uploading prank videos and started to upload vlogs and eventually he sort of faded into the background and fell off the radar. He stopped uploading to YouTube about three years ago and many like me hoped that he would, I don't know, do something else. Many of us YouTube veterans remember him as the creepy guy who made those controversial prank videos, or maybe like me you thought he'd be in prison by now. However, he did make a small comeback around 2018 when he met IRL streamer Ice Poseidon and started to stream with them. However, after a chaotic RV trip, Sam Pepper fell out with Ice Poseidon. He got into a heated argument with Ice Poseidon and when he stopped replying to Sam, he texted Ice's girlfriend, which Ice thought crossed the line, and after this he stopped IRL streaming. He, well, he's, he's just like texting her and just like, hey, what's going on with Paul? Like, I'm so done with, like, this is, this is bad, like, like, this is not what a friend does, blah, blah, blah. That's what he was saying to her. And, you know, I didn't really care about that because, like, sure, he's just trying to, like, figure out what's going on. But, uh, it was the stuff that he said to her that I thought was a little bit, uh, manipulative and I didn't really appreciate that in my perspective I thought he was trying to like you like dictate her emotions to get one over on me if that makes sense you know what I mean like this is just how I felt when I saw the the screen caps that uh, she sent me cuz I, I asked him like let me see what he said um, I like in my perspective I think he was like he, he we were arguing and then he started texting my girlfriend and he was like doing stuff to make my girlfriend like like he wanted my girlfriend to like defend him for him to me because he knows that I trust her but that you know that's like the that's the first vibe that I got and he's now gone through another major rebrand. The now 31 year old is making videos with millions of hits, doing pranks with his girlfriend and harassing a fake Justin Bieber, apparently. Yeah. Oh my God. Yo, yo, excuse me. Yo, I have a quick question. What do you call a gal from Canada that can't sing? Justin Bieber. <laughs> He reminds me of the sort of Instagram prank comedians that went viral for being cringe and using hundreds and thousands of crying laughing emojis a couple of years ago. It's some of the weirdest content I've ever seen and is almost exclusively sponsored by this random energy drink. It baffles me that he's managed to make so many comebacks after pretty much harassing women on camera and then framing it as a social experiment. I really thought that we left this guy in 2014 but I guess anyone can make a comeback these days. And so with that, let me know your thoughts on Sam Pepper's comeback in the comments. And remember that you can download the Stereo app with my link in the description and join me and Oddish Otter for a live stream on Friday at 8pm. I have, as always, been your Uncle Herman and I will see you very soon in my next video.